Ever wondered what it's like to study at Cogent University? Let's hear from our student Samantha O oh and hear her experience. So my name is Sammy. I graduated from Berkeley last year and so I kind of entered the industry by wanting to be a designer and so um, coming from a design background, I kind of wanted more of a formal education in computer science. So after graduation, I ended up enrolling in Cogent University. Um, and so that's kind of what brought me to um, taking this coding boot camp. Um, and <laughs> yeah, I think that's all. <laughs> Yeah, the training process was definitely a little rigorous. Like you have to try really hard because you're kind of on call from like 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, and for me, it's it was specific time, so 6 a.m., which is even harder. <laughs> um, but what kind of helped me stay on track was the batch sizes are pretty small. There was only, I think, nine or 10 of us. So we were all pretty attentive, like all keeping our cameras on. And so that was like good motivation to keep working just as hard as, you know, everyone else was. Um, I think the trainers were also really good at checking in. Like if someone someone seemed like they were falling behind, our um, teacher would always um, like check in and ask us if we're doing okay and if we needed an additional session or additional videos to help understand the topic that we we're covering. So, yeah. Yeah, I definitely utilized both the behavioral and technical prep. Um, once we started getting more into the interviews um, part of the program, I was doing a lot of behavioral mocks with people like Sarah, Abigail, and Ms. Dancier. And so I think that helped me get really comfortable with the types of interview questions that you'll get in like screening calls. And I had feel like I kind of mastered that level of the interview stage. Um, and then the part that I had a little more trouble on was with the technical. And so I did a lot of mocks with the technical team um, where they would just ask me, you know, um, like conceptual questions about Java, which is something that I was asked a lot in interviews and kind of hard to prepare on your own. And then we would also do a lot of um, like leak code style questions, prepping for hacker rank assessments, which is like a part of the interview stage where I hadn't done so well before. So I definitely improved a lot on that. And by the end, I felt um, pretty confident about going into a hacker rank assessment. Yeah, so once you officially graduate and you start interviewing, it's definitely a lot of interviews, a lot of recruiter screening calls, and a lot of hacker ink assessments, um, which when I was recruiting all on my own, it there, there was like a completely different number of interviews that I was doing um, with Cogent. So it just made it like that much easier when you have like so many interviews to like get experience from and it does take the pressure off a little bit when you have multiple interviews in one week um so i think that it was definitely a lot of interviews <laughs> but i mean it gives you more chance to like uh, make mistakes and you learn from those mistakes um and so i think that it was definitely helpful to have like a team working with me and just the volume of interviews that i was able to have was um, just completely different to what I had on my own. So, Well, from graduating to starting interviews was basically like almost no time. Um, and I actually interviewed for one role while I was still in the program. So there was not much time in between graduation and when I started interviews. It was very like back to back. Um, and from when I graduated to when I accepted my offer, I think that was maybe about two to two and a half months or two months starting the interview process and accepting my offer. Um, but I hadn't, my first interview with this company, I think had only been like about a month ago with a little bit later. And so because I was like a little bit more prepared by a month into interviews, um, I felt like I had done really well.
Um, I would say to ask a lot of questions. I think sometimes since the group was so small and it seemed like everyone else was really understanding the material, I didn't want to ask questions and I like, feel like I was slowing down the group. But like in the end, I think I realized that we're all having a pretty hard time with the training program um, and we're all learning a lot of this information for the first time. So um, definitely like maintaining a close relationship with the trainers um, and everyone on the team. Like, I feel like I was pretty active um, messaging people and setting up calls. And I think that helped me just get uh, receive a lot more opportunities once I started interviewing. Um, and I had already like kind of developed those relationships with all the trainers and they kind of knew what areas that I needed to improve on. Um, so just being really utilizing all of the resources that Cogent provides, um, I think, it's these are resources that you really wouldn't have outside of this university so um i think they help me a lot yeah um i think that my biggest advice and something that i learned is that just to be more open i think when i first entered the program i was really only open to working in like california or maybe New York and throughout the interview process I kind of opened my own eyes up to like all these different places to live within the US and so um, near the end I was actually considering a lot of other locations um, the offer that I took is actually in San Diego but um, I was willing to relocate to a lot of different locations within the US um, just because some of the companies were really exciting um, some of them had really good compensation or really good benefits and so I think those kind of factored more into my decision as I got more into the interview process um, and that's something that I didn't really expect coming into the university. Mm -hmm.